what you think. Think big, think big, think big. Not no small guy, no small fly. Think small guy, small fly. Think big, think big, think big, think big. All what you think. All right, reason heads, I'm back with another tutorial. This one is on the Kong Part Two sampling. I'm gonna show you another little trick I learned. And it's very helpful when you want to do some chopping. So you grab you another cone, you bring it in, like before I showed you. Open it up. This time you want to clear it out once again. So you go to reset device. Everything's clear. But now you want to change this cone around too. Let me make a beat too. So let me change the tempo right here. So I'm gonna show you how I can play with the beat as well. We're gonna make a quick beat, but I'm gonna show you how to mess with the cone. So now I just changed the tempo to 96. It's a nice tempo I like to use all the time. But we're gonna go back to the Kong. So you come over to the Kong and you go over to this place, this spot where it says hit type. Hit type. You press the button and turn everything around. So now, right to above hit type, it says drum design. This is important, so make sure you follow these steps. I'm gonna give you a Kong already made like this, but I want to show you how to do it so at least you know how to do it. You have to rely on what I showed you, but you can do it yourself. In this case you go to somebody else's spot and they got reason and they don't have a Kong set up like this, you can set it up like this. So now you go to the back, each pad you press hit type two. But make sure it's drum assignment one. Go to hit go to drum pad two. Make sure it's this drum drum assignment one. And the same thing all the way across. It's monotonous, but we're going to just rock out. I'm going to show you what will happen when you do it. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So now you got all your drum pads set up to hit type two. Each of them is going back from their sign to drum drum one. So basically everything's gonna follow drum one, and that's how you get everything in all the pads all the way around the the cone. You got your own personal NPC. Now you want to get a sample. Oh matter of fact, let me tell you to save it first. So this is your Kong. If you do this at home and you follow these steps, this is your Kong now. You can save it to whatever you want. Uh, do my thing. This is my do my thing Kong. So now you can save this. And it's a patch now. You can always use it. You just put it in your side and you can always just bring it in. It'll be ready to sample this way. So now what you're going to do is find your sample. Sometimes Reason does it. Does this weird thing where you just can't put a sample in so it's best to come best to come over here press browse your drum patches and then go to your desktop and find your sample I got some samples already here I'm just going to take anything got a bunch of them in here I think I'm going to take this one called journey so you throw it into the sequencer just like before you get your razor and you chop you chop once here once here ones here we'll get my pointer but instead of doing it like we did before reason does the job for you this is the fun part of raw reason too so now you come over to the slice it slices it up itself take your mouse right click bounce to rex loop before we bounce to new samples this is bounce to rex clip bounce clip to rex loop now your clip comes over here before it was red now it's blue now that's the difference. This is a Rex loop clip, not a regular sample. Same thing with this. Bounce the Rex loop. Same thing over here. Bounce the Rex loop. Now you got three samples over there to work with, ready to go into the comb. But this time, you don't have to chop them up and put each one in there. That's when you want to just you know, do it your way, customize it. But this one does it for you. So basically, you just throw it in here on this one, and it's... Your keyboard. I'm hitting. I'm hitting the keyboard now. Well, if you got, if 
you got pads, they'll be in your pads. And that's only that's one sample to work with. Then we have another one when we did it twice. <laughs> samples and stuff like that and you can make that into a beat now what I'm gonna do is make something real quick for you this is how easy it is to make beats with reason I'm gonna take the good old uh, what you call this the octo rex throw that in there because this is quick a quick tutorial for you and um you're gonna find a beat and just make a quick easy beat like what you could just do what I know where this is not even being thought up this is just something I'm playing around with so imagine if you put some time and some thought to it. I'm just taking the beat out of here. Hold on, let me get something. I love that uh, Reason just got beats in here for no reason. Something a little bit more harder. triple reason I'm gonna show you too this is dope how you use this calm so we're gonna throw this in there real quick I don't know what I'm making I'm just gonna flow with it might make it a beat after this but just check it out oh my bad I forgot to pause the sample hitting it off and usually I would play that with the keyboard but I'm just showing you right with the mouse check it out one way to mess with the reason I hope y'all learned something from this I can go in more and more but I'm gonna show you a little bit more different at different times this is just a little sample of what you can do and being that you got three different samples I'm gonna show you something else you can uh, do this a quick way to do something different is take this duplicate it no, no I need to duplicate that duplicate the uh, calm Erase that sample real quick. Move your uh, your loop over another nine, and um, now you got this calm. Remember, we had three different samples, so we use only the first sample. Go browse. Go to your song samples. We use four. Now we're gonna use the second one. Four two. 
Also too, when you're making these samples and you're doing it like this, come in here, hit the edit button, go to the last sample, the last hit that you make, use the pencil and turn it down so they don't run over into each other. Because they'll just be like, and they'll just be making a lot of noise. So that's another trick too. And come in this one, do the same thing, press edit mode, take the pencil, turn down the last one, and you got your little beat. After this, you gotta mix and master to make it sound tight, but look at this. Basically that's it. That's another way to sample with Kong. I'll show you some more stuff later, but this is just another different way to sample and experiment and have some fun. Hope y'all learned something from this. Peace and love to all the reason ads out there. One. Big, 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 all what you think.